All right, what's up, guys? Back with another video today. It is your boy, Will. In this video, we're going to be talking about three stocks that are breaking to all-time lows that I want to be buying. You already know two of them. I talk about them a lot, but I am adding a third one in here that I don't have a position on yet, but I want to start it on Monday. So all three of these, I'm buying Monday. Doesn't matter. Holding these longs, okay? So whenever you're buying longs, you want to make sure you have like a set amount that you want to have in your long, right? So you have a set amount you want to have in your long, and then you slowly buy as price moves. So you're not just buying all at one price. That's exactly how I'm doing it. I'm buying little by little. Monday, buy more. These three, all-time lows. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. There's going to be probably about four videos today, so just make sure you watch out for that. I'll try to post them earlier so I can have all the videos in, maybe by like 5 p.m. or so, so you have time to watch it. I know people go out on Saturday night. So first one, Matterport, ticker symbol MTTR. You guys know I love Matterport. I do already hold this one in my long term, but why I'm more interested in it is because one, there you go, ticker symbol M MTTR. One, the metaverse hype. Metaverse has not gone anywhere, okay? Metaverse has not gone anywhere. If anything, it's gonna get bigger. So if we go back, let's just go ahead and clear all the charts. I just, so, so you guys know how I'm looking for it in the future. If we go back, this was price. And all of this right here was the metaverse hype. Okay. All this right here was from the metaverse hype. It went from 14 to 37 of that hype. So that was about a, over 158% return. Then all that died down. And then we had some more die down. I feel like this is overblown. Okay. It's all time lows was $5.71. And it's about seven dollars right now this is all-time lows but what i like it is because metaverse doesn't go anywhere this is a good company if you go look at apartments or anything they have that matterport scan you can literally walk around the apartments looking at it i think that's going to go crazy so this is a company i want to hold long term but it's also a company i want to hold long term for the metaverse play also so once that hype starts to get back up in the metaverse play i think we can see this one well above 20 and that's already over a 200 percent gain so if you put a thousand dollars in here you'll be making about three grand. So you're doubling your money. Well, tripling your money, kind of. So um, yeah, you'd be kind of making that big profit. That's what I'm kind of looking for because that metaverse hype is going to come back. So let me go out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart. And if you want to learn how I find these levels, learn how I trade, make sure you join the team. First thing in the description, VIP is where I teach you guys how to trade in the markets, okay? So Matterport, all-time low was $5.71. But I feel like we're going to get some buying pressure at about like $6.55 because that is a um, shorter term buying level. I'm going to put that on here. But remember, Monday, I'm buying it regardless. I'm buying long term. I'm going to buy some shares regardless of whether, whatever it does. Because I think $6, $7 right now for the stock is very low depending on what this stock is going to do in years. So uh, $6.55 is where I am looking for some pressure. Where we do have some resistance above it is about $7.10. So I'm giving you guys shorter term levels, but just know I'm buying it regardless. And then this is also kind of like a shorter term play. I'm looking to play a shorter term with like shares and options. So all that profit that I make from it, I'll move that profit to the long term shares. So the market is basically paying me to add money to my long term shares. OK, so this is a shorter term play right here. Options play and then long term shares. I'm buying it regardless. Second one. You guys know I love this one. SoFi ticker symbol S-O-F-I. Ticker symbol SOFI. Now, as, as uh, uh, let me write this out real quick. SOFI. Make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already. Any more stocks you guys want me to look at, make sure you comment them down below in the comment section. You guys know I check every comment. So, SOFI, uh, especially with their bank stuff that they're doing, they're acquiring some companies. I think they're going to be a very good company long term and they're at all time low. So, this is the cheapest price you could ever buy SOFI. Yes, I do have my long SOFI position. Yes, I do plan on buying more Monday, regardless of the price. Below $7 is where I really wanted to go to actually start buying a little more heavier. So say I wanted like 10 grand in here, I've been buying like a thousand here, a thousand there. But once it starts going below $7, I'm gonna be buying about 2,000 there, 2,000. I'm gonna boost up those buyings a little bit more. So right below that $7 is what I really want. Price is about $7.26. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna hit that $7 mark. Also, remember when I told you guys that I'm not really bullish in the markets right now. Remember I gave you guys that sign when AMD was dropping. That was a worry sign for me that other stocks were going to drop. And what do stocks do? They dropped. Okay, so just don't miss a video. I try to give you guys the best information possible and the best levels in the game. So $7, I'm looking forward to fall below that. 
We do have some resistance though, about like seven dollars and fifty cents. So just in case um, to uh, Monday's Monday's an update, we do want to watch that seven dollars fifty cents for some resistance. So say it comes up right here, kind of watch that level for resistance. If we break that resistance on Monday, like say Monday's an update and we break that resistance, I think that might even be a shorter term play to trade it back up to about nine dollars, and that'll be about a twenty percent gain. So that's something else that I'm kind of looking for on SoFi. Not too quite sure, but that resistance level will need to break first, okay? on monday but monday buying it regardless if it falls below seven dollars i'll be buying it heavier third one haven't talked about this one robin hood ticker symbol let's go ahead and clear the charts ticker symbol h o o d ticker symbol h o o d this one i want to start a new position on i don't have longs um on robin hood i don't think robin hood is going to go anywhere i think robin hood has the easiest platform for people to use and like on cryptos they actually show you your percentage you entered and all that stuff. I do have some cryptos on uh, Robinhood. It's not my biggest holdings, but I do have some because I like to see, it just makes it easier for you to see um, your average in cryptos, your percentage gains and stuff like that instead of me writing it down on other platforms where I bought. So Robinhood, not going anywhere. Almost at all-time lows. All-time lows like $9.93. It's about $11. I do feel we're going to fall, but we have a shorter term buying level at about 11. Okay, I think I had some questions on Robinhood also. So hopefully this helps you guys out. We have a short term level at $11. We have a resistance at about $11.45. So let's kind of watch that. That might show resistance on Monday. And if we break that resistance on $11.45, we could trade that up to about $14-ish. That would be about a 22% gain. So that's a shorter term play that I'm kind of looking for. If Monday, if it breaks that resistance level on the upside, I do want to kind of watch that because like I said, the profit that I make on that shorter term, I'll move to my long term shares. And then my buying level, a uh, shorter term buying level is about $11. But Monday, I'm starting my long position regardless. So Monday, I'm buying it regardless. But these levels are kind of the levels that I kind of want you to watch out for, for shorter term type of plays around that $11 mark. Um, actually, we're going to move that $11 mark down to $10.40 now that I'm looking at it. So $10.40 is the level that I'm looking for shorter term right now, okay? $10.40. So even if it drops all the way down there to that level and we get buying pressure, we can still trade it up to here for a 10% gain. Or if Monday, if it breaks that resistance level, we could trade it up to about 14 for a 20% gain. So there's some possible movements in here. I am also thinking about doing 2024 call options on Hood. I will be doing 2024 call options on about three or four stocks. If you guys want to know what that is, just make sure you join the team. It's the first link in the description. Also, make sure you go get the Will Knowledge merch, www.willknowledge.com. Make sure you go get the merch. All new designs will be releasing soon. So these are the main levels I'm looking for hood. These are the three stocks that I want to be buying Monday regardless. And they're about to make all-time lows. I think all these stocks will be good for long-term, for years to come, especially now that are all-time lows. I plan on seeing triple my money in all three stocks. So once I can get that position, I hold that position. I'll hold that position. I just said that twice um, and I'll let that money ride. OK, so I'm kind of I'm trying to build it now while we're at all time lows. Thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. Always remember no recommendation to follow. Oh, also make sure you follow me on Instagram. Will dot knowledge. Follow me on Instagram. Will dot knowledge. Always remember no recommendation to buy. So anything just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.